Welcome to Ain't Got Time to Read, the place where I give you the breakdown to a plot and simply save you time. Now here is your spoiler alert, this video does contain spoilers. In this video, I will explain the plot of The Walking Dead, Miles Behind Us, which continues on from the Days Gone By storyline, as Rick Grimes and the other survivors attempt to find a place where they can live safely. Please show your support and leave a like. The story begins with Lori remembering when the outbreak of zombies began and the night that her and Shane ended up sleeping together. We then see everybody at Shane's grave. Lori is angry at Shane and spits on his grave. Dale talks to Rick and tells him that everyone would feel better if Rick led the group. He agrees and his first decision is for the group to pack up and move on. As they are travelling they have to stop and move some vehicles that are blocking the road. A man named Tyrese approaches them with his daughter Julie and her boyfriend Chris. Rick asks that if they want to join the group that they can and Tyrese agrees. The next day Tyrese confesses to Rick that he recently murdered a man that attempted to sexually assault his daughter. Rick doesn't judge him and tells him that despite being a police officer he does understand. They are distracted by a couple of walkers and they work together to quietly dispatch them. Later that night, Lori reveals to Rick that she is pregnant. They accept the situation and they tell the rest of the group. Afterwards, Dale has an awkward conversation with Rick about the possibility of the baby being Shane's. Rick is defensive at first, but does acknowledge the possibility that Lori's child may not be his. As they are travelling, it begins to snow and they realise that the zombies are slowed down by colder weather. They find an enclosed estate called the Wiltshire Estate, which has walls around it. The group see this as the perfect place to set up. While investigating one of the houses, Rick is attacked by a group of zombies. Tyrese saves him and they all settle down upstairs for the night. As they settle in, the snow begins to melt, but unknown to everybody, as the snow melts a warning written on the outside wall of the estate claims that everybody is dead inside. The following morning, everybody prepares to clear out all of the surrounding houses. As Rick heads over to the RV to get something, he notices the warning written on the wall and tries to warn the others but it is too late as a zombie grabs Donna and tears away at her face. Rick tries to warn the others not to shoot but he can't reach them in time. Tyrese attempts to stop a distraught Alan from shooting but he is unable to stop him. Other zombies hear the gunshot and begin to fill the street. As everybody heads for the RV, Rick notices that Tyrese is missing, so Rick goes back to the house that they camped in. Tyrese finds his daughter falling round with her boyfriend. Rick enters the room and tells them that they cannot go back that way, so they climb onto a small ledge outside of the window. Dale then drives through the crowd of zombies, allowing Rick and the others to jump onto the RV and escape. The group continues travelling but supplies become more and more scarce so they decide to start hunting for their food. Rick takes Tyrese and Carl hunting with him, but regrets it as a man named Otis accidentally shoots Carl. Grief stricken, Rick loses control and almost kills Otis. Tyrese manages to calm Rick down and points out that Carl is still alive. Otis tells them that a man on a farm nearby will be able to help Carl. Rick picks up Carl and heads for the farm while Tyrese heads back to the RV to tell the others. As the rest of the group arrives on the farm, Herschel Green, who owns the farm with his family, tells Rick and Lori that he has been able to remove the bullet and that everyone can stay on the farm while Carl heals up. Andrea tries to talk to Alan, who has become disconnected from the group since his wife was killed the week before. She tries to tell him that he needs to be there for his kids but he does not want to listen and is nasty to Andrea, so she gives up and leaves. Everybody is relieved when Carl wakes up. Sophia reveals that she has a crush on Carl as she gives him a kiss on the cheek. 
Dale has a private word with Laurie and tells her that she needs to take whatever happened with Shane to the grave, as it would undo Rick and the group needs Rick to remain as a strong leader. Herschel's daughter Maggie starts talking to Glenn and she tells him that she wants to sleep with him, so they sneak off to have a little fun. Meanwhile Tyrese lectures his daughter and her boyfriend about it not being the right time for them to be having sex, as the last thing Julie needs is to be falling pregnant. Herschel tells Rick where the group can sleep and then Rick asks if they can stay in the barn. Herschel shockingly replies that the barn is where they keep their dead. Herschel and Rick begin arguing about the zombies in the barn, as Herschel believes they may be cured one day and one of his sons is in the barn. Rick drops it and apologises the next day. Herschel allows Rick to teach anybody that wants to learn how to shoot. While they are training, a zombie wanders onto the farm and Herschel stops everybody from killing it and guides it into the barn but things go wrong as a zombie breaks free and nearly kills Herschel. Herschel's son Arnold rescues him but is bitten by his dead son Sean. When his daughter Lacey is ripped apart by the zombies, Herschel puts his children out of their miseries. He attempts to end his own life but Rick stops him. Once all of the zombies are put down and everything settles, Julie and her boyfriend Chris hand their handguns over to Tyrese but he tells them that it is safer if they keep hold of them. The next day Herschel walks into Maggie's room and finds her in bed with Glenn. He is angry but when Maggie tells Herschel that she loves Glenn, he calms down and leaves. Rick approaches Herschel to ask if there is any chance that they could move into the house and Herschel gets nasty. Laurie starts arguing with Herschel and he raises his hand to her. Things get nasty and Herschel raises his gun to Rick and he demands that they all get off of his property. As they are about to leave, Glenn tells Rick that he is going to stay with Maggie. They both wish each other luck and the group leaves. As they continue travelling, their food begins to run out. The group end up stumbling upon a prison. Although it is overrun with zombies, they can see the potential as it could be a highly fortified and safe place to live. <laughs>